Welcome to Around BI. Merge dimensions is one of the most important and powerful features of web intelligence. In this tutorial, we will see why do we need merge dimensions and how we can create one. But before starting anything on merge dimensions, I would step back and will analyze some common reporting scenarios. We have a sample data for a company that pays salary and stipend to its employees. Employees A to F are getting salary and employees D to H are getting stipend. We have some employees D, E and F who are getting both salary and stipend. I want to see employees detail with salary and stipend. For that, I have created a test web report that has two queries, query 1 for salary and query 2 for stipend. In business object terminology, each query is called a data provider. So here in this document, we have two data providers. We will regularly use terms data provider and query, meaning for both are same. Let's run both queries and analyze the result set. Objects are arranged by query name. I want to see employees who got their salary. So I am pulling employee and salary object. Cool. I can see list of employees. Oh, I also know that some of the employees got a stipend that we pulled from query 2. So let's see who are those employees and what is their stipend amount. I am adding a stipend object to my table block. Hmm. Looks like something went wrong. Why all values are showing 289? And it seems some of the employees are also missing. Just to confirm data from second data provider, I am pulling employee and stipend from query 2 and creating a new table. Employees G and H who are only getting stipend, not salary, are not showing in table. And it looks like stipend value is sum of all rows instead of individual stipend. My other observation is for country object from query 2. When I try to add that to table block, it says object is incompatible. What is this error and why didn't we get correct numbers? Reason for that is data that is coming from two different data providers. A web intelligence has no clue how to link these data providers. Web does not have a defined way to relate data coming from query 1 and query 2. And merge dimension is that defined way that to join data coming from different queries. It is a method for synchronizing data from multiple data providers. These different data providers can be from same universe like in our example or it can be from different universes. For example, we have one data provider that contains finance data and other data provider that has some clinical data. These synchronized queries relate the data from different queries around a dimension that contains data common to both queries and these dimensions are called merge dimensions. In our case, we can see that data is not synchronized and employee is common attribute in both queries and a good candidate for merge dimension. We can synchronize the data by merging the two data providers on the common dimension employee. The only criteria for merge dimension is that they must be of the same data type, either all numeric or all character. Here employee from both queries have character data. So it is meeting required condition to merge. But it also does not make sense to merge unrelated dimension if their data types are same. For example, if it is not good to merge country object with employee just because both are character data. So time is now to create our employee merge dimension and then we will see how it behaves. To create merge dimension, make sure that we are in the design mode. In the data access tab, in the data object sub tab, we will click merge. With control key held down, we will select dimensions we want to merge. So we will select employee from both queries and we'll click OK. A new merge dimension is created in available objects pane. All dimensions that are part of this merge dimension are sitting beneath it. With right click, we can edit its properties or unmerge it. Let's edit it and call it EMP merged. So how does merge dimension work? Merge dimensions work like a join between data providers. When we merge dimensions, web intelligence creates a new dimension that retrieves all the values from all the original dimensions that are part of the merge dimension. If we go one layer down on understanding this concept, for data comparison, business object checks that if merge data is from the same data source, means same universe or same Bex query, then merge happens based on the internal ID of the each data member. Like in this example, both employees objects are from the same universe. So employee value D from query 1 is merged with D from query 2 through its internal ID. 
when bio finds that uh, merge data is from different data sources the merge happens on the caption or title of each data member coming back to our report we have three employee objects emp merged employee from query 1 and employee from query 2 let's pull all three objects and check the differences emp merge had values coming from both queries while objects from query 1 and query 2 has respective values now we will create our first table please note that the value displayed in block depends on which object is being used so if i add salary and stipend to emp merged i am expecting all employee values from query 1 and query 2 we can see that merged dimension objects is equivalent of a full outer join if i replace emp merged with employee object from query 1 that will restrict employees from query 1 only i cannot see employee g and h since they are coming from query 2 same way if i pull employee object from query 2 list of employees from query 2 will only appear it means the structure of the data that appears on the report depends on which object we choose if we want that first query will control the result we will use objects from query 1 if we want that second query will control the results we will use objects from query 2 let's talk about other issue that always comes with merge dimension incompatible objects in table block we have employee from query 1 salary and stipend object let's add state object from query 1 no issue up to this point now i will try to add country dimension from second query but i cannot it says cannot drop here object is incompatible why because merge dimensions follow a distinct way of correlating data as a general rule we cannot place dimensions from different data providers in the same table This is to avoid Cartesian products or some ambiguous results depending on the universe structure. If I say in a very simple way, adding additional dimensions into block depends on which query is driving results. If I use merge dimensions EMP merged and measure objects, I can see data from both queries. I will add state from query one. Now query one is driving the result set, so all employees from query one will only showing. If I replace state from country object of query two, now query two is driving result set. Only employees from query two are showing. This is very important concept to understand. Merge dimensions allow to add additional dimensions from the same query that is driving result set, but cannot link dimensions from other queries. That's why it shows incompatible error. So right now query two is driving results. So I can add state object from query two. If I try to add state object from query one, it will show incompatible issue. I am saying it again. Adding additional dimensions into block depends on which query is driving results. It is due to way of aggregation. But good thing is that this rule applies only to dimensions, not to detail objects and measures. If we want to show state dimension from query one, we can convert that to a detail object and can add it. Why a detail object? Because detail objects are attributes of dimensions. and always have one to one relation so we can expect to keep same dimensional value into a detail let's see i am creating a new variable and calling it v dot state one i will set it as detail and associate it with employee from query one formula will be same as state our detail variable is created now i can easily add it to the report block where we treats it as an attribute of state object please make sure that in detail object associated dimension is merge dimension or member of merge dimension otherwise we will get uh, data sync errors we can also place attributes from different data providers in a table as long as details are associated with dimensions that participate in the merge dimension before moving to next topic i will reiterate merge concept when employee 1 that is coming from data provider 1 and employee 2 that is coming from data provider 2 are merged the value of the merge is the union of values of employee 1 and employee 2 when we use employee 1 or employee 2 in the table the table shows only the value from employee 1 or employee 2 however if we use filters either as input control or drill bar or filter panel on any one of these dimensions list of value will show combined value Let's add a filter in filter panel 
and use employee from query 1. Though we have used employee from query 1, if we see list of value, we are getting combined values. Moving to next part, auto merge. Web intelligence provides a document level property, auto merge. Instead of manually merging, we can opt for auto merge of dimensions. If they meet three conditions, dimensions have the same name, dimensions have the same data type, and they are from same universe. To opt for auto merge, we will have documents open in design mode. We will click properties tab in left pane and we will click document. In the document summary dialog box, we can select auto merge dimension. There is another merge property, extend merge dimension value that we will cover in next tutorial. If we opt auto merge option, web intelligence searches for all dimensions sharing the same name and data type in a universe and merges them. But in case when we already have merged dimensions, deactivating this property will not unmerge those dimensions. My personal opinion is to always merge dimensions manually so that we are 100% confirm which objects are part of merge and what is their relationship. We are done with merge dimensions, but before wrapping up, let's recap the main concept. A merging dimensions is a way of combining data from different data sources. In practical scenarios, we always see reports having multiple queries. So as a report developer, we should understand how it works. We can only link uh, dimension objects. We cannot merge uh, variables or details or major objects. The dimension objects must have a common data type. The dimension objects need not to be have the same name but should contain related data. And any number of queries can be linked by common dimension object. Same way, any number of uh, dimension objects can be merged between two queries. In next part of merge dimension, we will talk about aggregation of major objects around merge dimensions, forced merge and extended merge. I know it is a lengthy tutorial, uh, but considering importance of this powerful concept, we can bear this extra pain. Please share your feedback and comments with us. Thanks for watching.